Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alamin Wassalatu Wassalamu ala ashrafil anbiya wal mursalin Nabina Muhammadin sallallahu alaihi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa ba'du Ayam wa masjirma Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Muna kara kudia ga Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala mi girma tawka wa dira itta mu izwa ala loka si mi tarin al barka Muna yang ad doa Allah ta'ala ya sama cika di kiwada iman Yaw Muna yang macin la raba Asyirin da shida ga wata ramadhan Shikara tadu wudar dari hudu da arba inda huku Hijrang anna yang Muhammad Daga maka izwa madina Wanna rana ina day day da Asyiran da bapa yiga wata hudu Dibu biu da asyiran da biu miladiya an Nabi Isa alaih salatu wa salam Awanna angguwa na wuse Ama salla chin juma'a na zhun tari Burnan tariya Abuja, Nigeria Na muka yiga bata di tafsir Ramadhan Yau kamayin na muka ambata Bida man turana na karishay Na yung wana tafsiri na wana shikara Muna fata abin muka bagi chambaya Na day day Allah ta'ala iba malada ng bakida Pada kwa muka ambata na kuskule Muna yung addua Allah ta'ala iga pata Kuma muna yung wajuna ta'aziya rasuwan Eda katikin lima may Na jabi Shikaru chambaya masu yawa Imam Muhammad ibn Muhammad Mada Allah Ta'ala wa iya wa rasuwa ayaw Kuma tuna ayirga amashi istira Allah ta'a fatta musa Naduka mwa ida suka rigashi Chikin muslimai Allah Ta'ala ya masu afuwa ya masu rahma ya masu gafar Muma ida luka shimbu ya hii Allah Ta'ala isa muchika di kudu iman Atu ganin chewa Iya uza aripi tafsiri Kuma suran da aki chiki Apa arga anji nisa a chikin sabah Semua gaya dah cie, mukaran tu waktu belajar sura, waktu dek kesan cie tu nak terawah kali muka baki dah, saya nak kuma sura buat dah sebab saya kemarin dah jelah baru. Ini je sura tu asli, mana sura belajar dia cie buat dia awa, amatan ada mana dia awa, cadang pun abu buat masih awa cinta, waktu dah cie muka ni dah si aikir dah pun dekik cik. Na ansam zaman life ya dunia Na kuma ansam al janda bubu kiyam Surat al-asri Surat chi shaharar ya Kusamku wa muslimi ya hadda chi teha santa ya na karan tata Tuna da dadi ya chi nkara tu Tuna da sawki Sahab bayi suna ya wa karan tawa juna nsu ita Danya zaman tu tuna tarwa Surat chi wada tiki in aka bi jiran gwanon yar ga surori daga Fatiha Bakara Ali Imran ita ce sura ta 300 sa'annan ita sura ce ta Makka Makkiya ce a Makka aka saukar da ita kuma ayyinta guda uku kacal sai dai da ma'anoni masu yawa muna fata Allah ta'ala ba mu dace أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والعصر. نعم. سُنَّ اللَّهِ مِجْرِمَ مِرَحْمَةَ مِجْنَكِ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى يَشِيءَ بَرْكُمَا نَسُورَ وَالْعَصْرَ وَتُو اللَّهُ تَعَالَى رَنْسُوَاءِ أَنَا يَرَنْسِ الْلُوَكَشِ Kuma kemana muka ambata, kuma itu muka karan, muka karan cah, dekau jam malam mai, Allah tak Allah yang harus ada dua abin desu. Kau dua abin Allah yang sih resi, aku ni muhim manci, muka kuma baying Allah, ba ada muran sih dekau muka idam baca Allah ba, kuma tinggalan sih dekau Allah, kau disipu kau Allah, ama ba ada muka tinggalan sih, kau dewan bapa ba, kau dewan berseraki. Kuan mengirma, ku an Nabi ku malaika, bama saya ini subani aran tidak su. Ku sekurang ini bapa, asang muslimi yang aran suah dewan abah Allah bapa. 
Allah ga fata mana ga makina to bayan Allah ya wannan rantsuwar yace wal asri wadda malamai da yawa sun tafi akan cewa abin da ake nufi lokaci ne sai kuma aka yi ta kai komo wani lokaci daga ciki mafi rinjaye suna ganin cewa lokaci ne la'asar lokaci ne la'asar lokaci ne mai muhimmanci kwari hasali akwai zikiri na musamman na marice wanda yake far ake fara shi tun daga lokacin la'asar har zuwa fadon rana daga cikin hasashen da ake na lokacin bayan la'asar yana da tsada musamman wajen addu'a aka ce wannan lokacin da aka ba mu labari ranar juma'a wanda Allah ta'ala baya mai da addu'an ba wa kuma ba a san lokacin ba ana jin tsakanin la'asar ne zuwa magana ba wanda ya sa da yawan magabata tun lokacin sa bai ha wato ainin tabi'ina bayan sallan al'asar ranar juma'a za ga suna masallaci sun tsatsaya suna wato addu'i to ala ayyi halin wannan rantsuwar da Allah ta'ala da lokaci yana nuna muhimmancin lokaci lokaci baya jiran mutum yanzu kaga ramadan din nan cewa ake za a yi ramadan za a yi ramadan sai gashi an ga wata sai gashi an yi daya an yi biyu an yi uku yau muna 26 wasu ba da su aka fara ba Allah bai ba su daman halatta wannan lokacin ba wasu da su aka fara amma ba su da su za a kare ba kuma da muke sanarwa da daya daga cikin malamai yima ba da yaran su tun an kai shi wasu ma sun rara su wasu mun san su wasu ma mun san su ba wasu yanzu mun sani ba ba da su za a kare watan ba saboda ka duk lokacin da Allah ta'ala ba mutum dama na lokaci to kada yi wasa da wannan lokacin dama ce ko na nafula dama ce ko na zikiri ko na istighfari ko na kai agajiyo wani ko wani shawara ko wani temako ko fadin gaskiya ko wani abu ne wadda ya shafi lokaci dama ce idan mutum bai ba in ya kwace to shikenan Allah ta'ala ya rantse da lokuta daban-daban aka ce babu abin da Allah ya rantse da shi a cikin al-Qur'ani mai yawa kamar lokaci wadduha lokaci ne wallaili lokaci ne wannan hari lokaci ne walfajri lokaci ne duka Allah ta'ala ya rantse da su saboda muhimmancin lokaci kenan babu wanda gaba na lokaci da Allah bai rantse da shi ya rantse da dare ya rantse da rana ya rantse da lokacin fitan rana lokacin walha ya rantse da dukkan abin da kake zato ana ce mai lokaci hatta ke to alfijir Allah ta'ala ya rantse da shi saka dan adam muslimi bai kamata ko da wasa ko da wasa an bayar da ya wasa da lokaci ba kuma turawa cikin abin da suka mura a rayuwar su na ci gaba na duniya ba sa wasa da lokaci bature ya san lokacin wasa ya san lokacin aiki kai ya san lokacin shan giya ya ware lokacin da zai sha giyan sa ya ta til ya sa hankalin sa ya yi burgima akan kwalta dan na gani dakta na je kasar na ku na gani mutun ya sha giya baya da hankali yana sai dai a kwaso shi a raba shi da kwalta da mutane su ci amma duk da haka yana da lokaci daman ya ware wannan lokacin abin da zai yi kenan da barna amma mu sai ka samu mutun baya kula da lokaci babba wanda yake da matsayin da zai zauna ya kula ya tsara abubuwa na lokaci wanda za ta yi miki al'umomi masu yawa bayan rasuwansa karami wanda zai amfani da jinin sa ya mori lokaci sa muna muna wasa da lokaci to gaskiya al'umma ba za ta shiga ba sai ta tsara amfani da lokaci idan mutu ne ce ma karfe 10 sai ga ya zo lokacin karfe 10 amma sai ustazu ne ce ma karfe 10 sai ga rasa shi kuma yanzu ma ba hakuri zai bayar ba abin ta kai ci ga hatta tsari na lecturecin ba za a ce za a taro za a yi wannan taro babban taro an yi ta sanarwa a yi ta sanarwa karfe 10 za a taro sai ka samu sai sha da karfe to gaskiya akwai bukatan mu kula kuma lokaci idan ya wuce ba zai dawo ba lokaci idan ya wuce ba shi sa idan mutun ya zo gaba mutuwa zai nemi a kara ban lokaci da malamai suna cewa kafirai ne to amma ko musulmi ne bai amfani da lokaci ba zai nemi karar lokaci kala rabbi rji'uni la'alli a'mala salihan fima taraktu kalla 
ce ya ubangiji a maida ne a kara min lokaci zan yi aikin kwarai sai a ce a a kowanne abu Allah ta'ala ya tsara min lokaci da kulli ummatin ajal fa idha jaa ajaluha fala yastakhiruna sa'atan wala yastaqdimu Allah ta'ala ce kowace al'umma mun tanadan mata iya lokacin ta idan lokacin yayi ba za mu kara ba ba za mu rage ba ki sabu dage cin abin da za mu mura na tarbiyar da muka samu a wannan mutum amfani da lokaci amfani da lokaci kaga ai fir'auna ya ya neme musulunta ko kuma ya musulunta da baki amma lokacin da ya musulunta da yace shi ya imani lokacin ya wuce ba a kabi imanin su ba kuma wa ya sani ko mutum zai kai gobe ba wanda ya sani Allah ba mu ikon aiki da lokacin da muke da shi the name of Allah the most gracious the most merciful the day is the 26th day of Ramadan 1443 years after the hijra of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam from Mecca to Medina the 27th day of April 2022 uh, today as we announced yesterday going to mark the end of today uh, this year's tafsir by the special grace of Allah. Uh, considering the fact that the surah we are uh, reading or we read up to yesterday we only took some few verses out of it so we decided that we are taking one of the shortest surahs of the glorious Quran to conduct the today's tafsir then after that other program pertaining to the closing ceremony inshallah will come surah al-asr surah number 103 of the surahs of the glorious quran and it is one of the makkan surahs it contains it consists of only three verses however as short as the surah is it is indeed very very important consists of so many lessons that have to do with our daily lives as Muslims in order to live as righteous Muslims and also die as righteous Muslims and then earn the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah the Most High opened the surah with swearing with an oath. He says, Wal Asr, meaning I swear by Al Asr, the time. Allah the Most High do swear with whatever he wishes among his creatures, however it has been forbidden for any of us as Muslims to swear with any of Allah's creatures except Allah the Most High alone. It is haram for one to swear with anything no matter how important he, no matter the importance he attaches to that thing, no matter what it is except who, except Allah the Most High. And Allah the Most High do swear with some of his creatures in order to uh, draw our attention to the lessons or the importance of that particular thing. Now Allah the Most High swears by the time. Time is very important. Time is what one utilizes to achieve and time is what one misuses then he becomes uh, backward. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives it importance. And the companions of the Prophet sallallahu having understood how important time is, they did not use to waste any of their meat. They spent all their lifespan in worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and utilizing the opportunity given to them by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Therefore, it is a special opportunity granted to us for us to find ourselves alive at this moment. Some died before the commencement of Ramadan. Some in the process of Ramadan, even today, Marlon just announced the death of one of the Imams in Jami, former Imam of the Jami, Marlon Muhammad ibn Muhammad. He died today in this Ramadan. And if you just reflect, some few days back, we were expecting sighting of moon for the month of Ramadan. Moon was sighted. We started counting one, two, we finished the first ten, we finished the second ten. We are now in the last ten. It remains 
only four or three days for us to finish this uh, Ramadan. So those of us who utilize the opportunity to have worshipped Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have succeeded. And those who misuse the time, the time will never be brought back for them to use it again. Rather, it has gone and it has gone forever. That is why even non-Muslims who understood the importance of time, they achieved a lot, they developed, but nobody could even find wasting his precious time except a, a Muslim. This is very, very unfortunate. And because of the importance that Allah Musa attaches with time and to time, he swear by every segment of time. Allah Musa swear by the Asr, Layl, Nahar, Fajr. Allah the Most High swear with all the segments of the time. Allah swear by the day itself, by the night, by the, uh, by the Asr, by the Fajr. All these are part of time which one needs to reflect and utilize them in order to achieve success and in order to attain paradise by the special grace of Allah. Therefore, it is high time for us to value our time because it is the entire life of human being. If you see someone achieving, it is or it depends on how he or she utilizes his time. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our time and bless all of us. Allah ta wada kudala ce lallai dan adam yana cikin hasara dan adam ya halaka dan adam yayi kasuwancin da bai samu riba a ciki ba inna al insana lafi khusrin lallai dan adam yana cikin hasara a tunda kan annabi adam alayhi salatu wassalam zuwa yau mu da ake cewa yan adam mu ne al wato ainin mu ne al insan mu ne mutane to Allah ta ala bai bar kowa ba kowa Allah ta ala ce yayi hasara da a ce suran ta tsaya a nan aya biyu ne kacal to da duk dan adam ya sai ya shiga wutan jahannam babu abin da zai hana shiga wutan jahannam domin me domin Allah ya yi rantsuwa bayan ya rantsuwa jawabin rantsuwan shine dan adam ya halaka to wa zai kudanta shi babu sai aka wannan halaka da Allah ta ala ya ambata duk dan adam sai ya fidda wadansu wadda shine aya ta uku take bayani amma da suran aya biyu ne kacal to babu ibadar dan adam zai sai ya shiga wutan jahannam ba domin Allah ne ya rantse kuma Allah bai wasa hasali ma baya bi mubashar rantsuwa ko bai rantse ba idan yace inna al-insana fi khusrin to kowa ya hasara kuma kowa ya halaka amma saboda lutufi na Allah da tausayin sa da rahamar sa sai ya kibance wadansu wadda su ne ba su hasara ba إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر. سو سيتشي كاسونا. إن أدم وعد بسيا سارا با سونا الصب سبوبيو قداهودو. سيتشي إلا الذين آمنوا وعد بسيا سارا با سبحان الله كوسونا الإيماني. وعد سكيا الإيماني توبا ساتشي وعد سكيا سارا. idan suka biyo da sauran sufofin guda uku ya zama hudu to duk inda ga mutumin da ba da imani to yana cikin asara ilal ladina amanu wa idda ka wasu asara ba masu imani shi ma imanin nan wani aiki ne a zuci shi ma aiki ne akwai ayukan gaban jiki na waje wadda suna alaƙar da zuci amma akwai abin da can cikin zuci yake duk zai bayyana da ayuka اما اصلن سو ازوكي ني شي ني ايمان ان تنبي ان نبي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم عباده بياني مني ني ايمان اخبرنا على الايمان حديث جبريل مي صاو يتي ان تؤمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسله واليوم الاخر وتؤمن بالقدر خيره وشره ايمان شي ني متي ايمان ني الله ايمان ده ملائكه ده منزني ده لتتفاي ده كوراران قرشي ده كما واتو عينين قدره الخير ان سلسله الشر انسان هو شيء ايماني ينا قاروا ينا رغوا ينا قاروا دا ايوكا نغري ينا رغوا دا ميا بو ايوكا انما المؤمنون الذين اذا ذكر الله وجل القلوب واذا تليت عليهم اياته زادتهم ايمانا 
wa ala rabbi mutawakkalu lalle masu imani idan an karanta musu ayyin Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala sai imanin su ya in sun ji qur'ani irin wannan da muke ji sai imanin su kuma su ma su tawakkali ne akan Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala kuma wannan ya faru a lokacin da aka yaki na uhudu kafaran maka bayan an kare yaki sun kama hanya za su tafi sai suka tuna ba su kwashi bayi ba domin a wannan yakin ne aka kashe sahabban annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam wajen sabain ya ku bunne su a wajen masu zuwa ziyara madina ana kai su wajen ziyara wa'annan bayan Allah da suke a wannan wajen kuma annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya ce a ziyarce su ai musu sallama ya kuma rantse babu wanda zai je wajen musu sallama fake sun ji sun amsa zuruhum wa sallimu alaihim fa wallahi la yusallim alaihim musallima illa raddu alaihi salam ku zai ce su ki musu sallama na rantse da Allah na rantse da wadda raina ke hannun sa ba za ku je wajen musu sallama fake sun ji sun amsa saboda me suna raye suna da girman su suna da matsayin su wala ta saban alladhina qutilu fi sabilillahi amwata bal ahya'un inna rabbi murzaqun bal ahya'un walakin la tashkuru Allah ta'ala ya ce wa'adda aka kashe su saboda Allah suna raye Allah yana ce da su yana shayar da su ya da kuma ku sani ba to shaida a wannan bayanin shine na karo imani bayan wannan abu ya faru mutanen maka sun kama hanya za su tafi ba su dubi bayi ba sai suka ce su dawo ai a badur da aka masu lalas a wannan yakin an kwashi bayi a cikin su sai aka abin da zai nuna wa laraba sun rama shine su ma su su bi da bayi a lokacin kuma musulmai suna cikin wani yanayi mawuya ce wani ya rasa mahaifin sa wani ya rasa dan uwan sa wani ya rasa bangaren jikin sa ko kafa ko hannu ko ido shi karan kansa annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam hakuran sa an fitar da su a wannan yakin ana cikin wannan yanayin za a dawo annabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam ta rasa bansa ana wannan yanayi yake fa za su saki dawowa sabbai suka ce sun shirya da me yakekken hannu da wanda ya rasa uba da wanda ya rasa dan uwa duka sabbai ba mu mutum dai da ce a'a bai yadda ba suka ce sun shirya sai Allah ya musu yabo na musamman ya tabbatar da imanin su ya tabbatar da karuwan imanin su wannan ke nuna tawakkuli yana kare imani alladhina qala lahum an-nas inna an-nas qad jama'u lakum fakshawhum fazadahum imana wa qalu hasbuna Allah wa ni'mal wakil fanqalabu Allah ta'ala ya musu yabo na musamman wanda za a yi karantawa har Allah ya zai da kiyawa Allah ta'ala ce wa'adda mutane suka taro akan su akan musu tarun dangi kuma aka nemi su tsoron mutane suka ce a'a sai imanin su ya ka suka ce mu muna dogaro ne ka cokan akan Allah ta'ala hasbunallah kuma ya isa abun ai dogaro da shi shi sa ake so musulmi a cikin dadi yayi dogaro ga Allah a cikin wahala yayi dogaro ga Allah yana da lafiya dogaro ga Allah idan ba yayi da ita ma dogaro ga Allah sai imanin su ta karo yanzu mu da muke ci wannan wahala a Najeriya da yanayi mawuya ce na rashin tsaro da an kama bayan Allah har yanzu ba a san da suke ba ya kamata a ce imanin mu ya karo da mika al'amura ga Allah da komawa gare shi da tuwa da istighfari to shine rukuni na farko na wanda ba su yi asara ba imani wa amilu salihati sai kuma aiki na gari baka ce kana da imani baka aikin kwarai samu kana ta barna a'a sabai ko wajen sallah wajen azmi wajen zakka wajen umura wajen hajji wajen kyau ta ma iyaye tausayin jama'a ba da taimako zikiri istighfari salati ga rasulullah sallallahu duk wa inna ayyuka a sami kana da kana da nasibi a ciki amalus salihah yana dewa kowa Allah ya bude ma abin da zai shiga aljanna sai dai idan yaki masu kudi an bude musu talakawa an bude musu malamai an bude musu almajiri kowa akwai da zai shiga aljanna sai dai idan yaki sa'an nan wasici da gaskiya musulmi duk inda yake zanto mai gaskiya kuma ya wasici da gaskiya kare yadda ya tsaya da masu kariya kuma kare ya kariya kuma kare ya ce maka kariya duk girman mutum idan yana kariya yana aikata kariya kace kariya ne wannan da kowane irin usulubi zaka iya bi ne hikima ka ga mashi to har ka mara mashi duk wani hikima da zaka lallaba dan wani sai ka lallaba wani in kace kariya yake ba za ku hana gidan ka ba kai zaka sani da zaka yi dai amma kulkace yana kan gaskiya 
Ah, ba ganin Musa alaihi salatu wassalam da ya jin Fir'auna aka ce ga ba magana mai dadi ai ba ai ba ya canza gaskiya zuwa kariya bane a'a ya daidai ya yadda ya daidai ya ga mai magana mai dadi amma ya fada gaskiya sa'an nan kuma kai wasu shi da hakuri domin wa'an abban guda uku ba za su samu ba sai da hakuri imani bai samu wa haikala da hakuri ayyuka na gari gari ba zai samu sai kana da hakuri haka nan wannan wasu cin da gaskiya kai kai ka kira wadansu bai yiwa sai kana da hakuri shi sa kullun wani mai ala ta'ala ya sanya mai cikin masu hakuri hakuri ba wuta bane hakuri kwalliya ce wata ke komai ado a rayuwar mutum Allah muke roka ya sanya mai cikin masu ainihin sabbobin guda hudu sa'an nan Allah tabarak wa ta'ala mai da tara mu a wannan waje tara mu cikin aljannar sa illal ladina amanu a inna al-insana lafi khus after swearing by the time then Allah the most high confirm that Certainly, al-insan, man, is in the state, state of loss. Meaning, misusing time makes one to lose everything of goodness in this world and the hereafter. Because the most important thing that one will lose is that paradise. And what makes one to lose paradise is for him to misuse his time and to do other things that have not been forbidden by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to the detriment of those things are encouraged by Allah the Most High. So we are lucky that Allah the Most High continues after this second verse. Had it been Allah stopped here, then all of us would have been in trouble. It means no human being will be out of this loss. However, the most, Allah the Most High continues to say, Illa ladina amunu, except those who believe, except those who have Iman. What is Iman? The Angel Jibril alayhi salatu wasalam came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasalam and asked, Akhirni an al-Iman. Tell me about Iman, O Muhammad. The Prophet of Allah sallallahu alayhi wasalam told him that al-Iman, antashahad Allah ila ila Allah. Iman is for you to testify that none is worthy of being worshipped except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then you establish prayer, you pay zakat, you fast the month of Ramadan, perform hajj, then you believe in the qadr. Uh, destiny, whether good or bad. So, an Iman, as scholars said, Iman increases and it decreases. It increases through righteous deed. If you see yourself increasing in your righteous deed, it means that your Iman, the level, it is the level of your Iman that is increasing. But if you see yourself uh, staying away from righteous deed and performing or committing evils, means the level of your iman is going down therefore you should try and service yourself so that you become uh, someone who have strong iman iman the malaiku malaiku so, or uh, the articles of faith the, the, uh, the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told the jibril alayhi salatu wasallam and tell me billah it is for you to believe in allah his angels day of qiyama qadr books of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the messengers of allah the most So with this, you have Iman, then you continue to improve yourself until you become a Mu'min. So Iman also increases, depending on increase of righteousness or decrease in righteousness. This has been confirmed in a verse of the glorious Quran after the battle of Uhud. Companions of the Prophet ﷺ, as many as 70, were martyred, and some of them were injured, some of them lost their, their brothers, their parents, and so on. But uh, the kuffar still gathered against them. Then the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam informed them, let them get ready and go and confront them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alladheena ka'ala lakum al-nasu, inna al-nasa ka jama'u lakum fakshawhum, wa zaadakum al-imanin wa qalu, hasbun allahu wa ni wal wajim. So when they were told that people have gathered against you, they were trying to eliminate you completely from the surface of this earth, Allah says, wa zaadakum al-iman. That increased them in iman. وَقَالُوا حَسْبُنَ اللَّهُ وَنِمَ الْوَكِيلُ They say sufficient for us is Allah the Most High and وَنِمَ الْوَكِيلُ So one should try and concern himself with whatever will increase him in Iman and stay away from whatever will lead him to decrease in Iman. وَعَمِلُوا صَالِحًا After Iman, it must be followed by righteousness. If one says that he has Iman, but he doesn't pray, he doesn't fast, he doesn't obey his spirit, he doesn't respect elders, he doesn't do any form of goodness, then he is telling lie, he, he does not have Iman. Because Iman and Amal Salih go hand in hand. You cannot spread them. Watawasa will happy and they advise each other 
with, with the truth, but also the sobering and the advice each other with the patient. One has to be truthful, one has to identify himself with the tr truthful ones, one has to support the cause of truth, and also uh, he should be patient and advise all Muslims to be patient. Inshallah, this is the point we are going to stop for this year, Inshallah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept all that we have said correctly. Whatever we might have said wrong, give Allah the most high forgive us. Now, uh, the program for the closing ceremony, Inshallah.